Welcome to the new beginners tutorial video. Got a question for you, what gear do you put on your tanks? Most folks don't bother with gear or maybe just the first three slots, but why do most play without it? Could be because it's pricey. And it's true, fully kitting out a tier 10 tank costs you 3.15 million silver, that's half the tank's cost. Might sound crazy to some, but skilled players don't rush into battles with a new tank. First, they level up the crew to 100%, gear up the tank and fit in all 9 equipment slots. Only then do they head into battle. I recommend you all do the same if you want to up your game. Smart equipment placement is essential, and I'll show you how in this video. Remember there's no one-size-fits-all strategy. Each tank needs a personalized approach. Let's get started. Let's start with the first column of firepower. We'll go step by step. First we'll talk about the gun rammer and calibrated shells. Here's the deal. Gun rammer speeds up reload time, and calibrated shells increase gun penetration. Standard rounds get a 5% boost, while APCR and heat rounds get 10%. Now if your tank has an autoloader, go for calibrated shells instead of gun rammer. But if it's not that big of a deal, improved ventilation can work too. It boosts tank stats a bit, but not by much. First thing to remember, if your tank has an autoloader, always pick calibrated shells, no exceptions. Now for autoloaders, it's a bit tricky. If your tank has high DPM compared to others at its tier, gun rammer can make it even better. But if it has high alpha damage and a long reload, like the E100, go for calibrated shells. Better to penetrate enemies every shot than scratch their armor with a faster reload. Also important to note that if your tank has Qi shells, go for calibrated shells. Applies to tanks like FV4202, FV215B and so on. No need to explain much here. Let's keep going. Here's where things start getting tricky. Enhanced gun laying drive makes aiming faster easy. You stop and aim quicker. Now the supercharger makes shells fly faster and lose less penetration over distance. Don't freak out, I'll explain. In the game, Shells lose penetration at long range, especially APCR rounds. If you shoot them from afar, chances are you won't penetrate the enemy. Cool fact. Helsing's shells fly a max of 400 meters, and if the enemy tank is just one meter farther, your shells won't penetrate at all. Crazy, right? Hit like if you didn't know. So what to choose? I always go for the supercharger, and you should too. Slight aim speed boost ain't much, but faster shells? That's a win, that's that, and let's keep going. And let's keep. All right, now we got the vertical stabilizer and refined gun. First one, it shrinks your aim circle when you're on the move. The second one tightens it up when you're fully aimed. Truth is, you can go with whatever floats your boat here. But here's my little tip. If you already aim fast, like on the T-34-3, slap on that stabilizer for even faster aiming. Now, if your aim takes a while, go for super tiny spread. Because with those guns, you won't aim all the way often. But when you do, you'll hit way more often, trust me. All right, done with the first firepower column. Now let's talk survival, no beating around the bush. Improved modules and defense system, pretty much the same deal. Their results are almost the same, but improved modules give you 20% RAM protection. Because of that, I'd say go for improved modules. Now we gotta choose between enhanced armor and extra hit points. Few words about armor. If you're on a tank with no armor like Leopard 1, go for hit points. Extra armors only for tanks with armor like mouse, E160 TP, etc. Oh, and one thing, if your tank's armor's angled, like Bachatillon or Progetto 65, still go for the extra armor. You'll see why on your screens. Lastly, enhanced tracks and toolbox, easy peasy. First one makes your tracks tougher and they fully repair after auto repair. But toolbox? Way better. It speeds up all repairs by 30%. Saved me many times in battles. Slap that on and let's roll to the third column. Specialization, that's the last gear group. First, choose better view or improved camouflage. Easy call on heavies, mediums, and lights go better view. Same for TDs like T110E3, T110E4, and Jagdpanzer E100. No need for camo there, but on a Grill 15 or Object 268. Camo net's your friend. Next choice is a breeze too. Faster tank rotation gives you 10%, but I'd go for the second option. You get less rotation boost, just 7% but more engine power. No brainer, grab the second. Lastly, you're handed a choice. Quick consumables reload or longer consumables effect. Situation rules here. Fun modes, high-end consumables. 
Keeps perks running longer, invisibility, bloody mark, all that, but regular fights go consumable delivery system. Faster repair kit reload. Now you know how to properly use the equipment on any tank. And now you are one step closer to the status of a pro player. Under the last video in the comments you wrote that you would like to see short videos from me. So what kind of videos would you like to see, quick tank reviews or news reviews or maybe both? Please write your thoughts in the comments, this is very important for me, because I want to make more World of Tanks Blitz content. Bye.